In the week leading up to the British Grand Prix, Toyota Wolf desired to put Brown in last year's Mercedes as a tyre test to see how he is progressing and see if he is ready for a Formula 1 seat on the grid one day. He's also been very impressed by the development in the Formula 2 coming off the back of Austria and we'll see what he can do this weekend as F2 returns. Hello and welcome to Silverstone for part 4 of my F1 24 drive career mode. We're here for round 4 for the Formula 2 season. We're making good progress. We've had a, a test in a Mercedes. Toto Wolf was very happy with that. So we just need to continue to impress him and maybe there'll be a Formula 1 seat waiting for us one day. Coming into the, our Formula 2 weekend, we're starting P10 in this sprint race. We put it on pole position for the feature. But let's go racing at Silverstone. It's lights out and away we go. And we've got a decent start. It's a good second phase as we've gained multiple positions. We're trying to go around the outside of after the player in his thumbs. He fends us off. But now into village. We're going to send it late back down the inside of the Monogas. Now we're going to try and have a little look around the outside of our fellow Brit, Holly Behrman. We couldn't quite get the exit. He slams the door shut. And now we're going to slip straight in all the way up the Wellington Strait and into Brooklyn. Are we close enough to go for a dive down the inside? No, we're not. We've run a bit deep though as we head into Luffield. And now it's just about finding the grip and getting the launch out of Luffield. We've had to settle late behind him during the rest of the lap, have we behind Behrman? We're getting closer now though into Stowe. We're gonna be late on the brakes, lick the stamp and send it. And we're past Behrman now. And now at the end of the lap, three maggots and Beckett's and Chapel were right on the back of Victor Vishore now. Heading down the hangar straight, we've got him surely here. We're staying in the slipstream, we're staying, we're staying, we're staying. We're gonna go for the late lunge. Copy and paste of what we did to Behrman. And we are through. And up into P4 is the win on the cards in the sprint race from starting P10. There's a battling just in front of us. We're on the back of Dennis Hauga now. We're gonna send it late down the inside it's a hat trick of dive bombs at Stowe and now we're into P3 as Novelak and Fittipaldi go wheel to wheel into the Vale chicane we try to stick our nose in but we've backed out and now can we get past Novelak as we head down the Hamilton straight into Abbey we're a little bit too far back we may come into fresh from Alga again but we didn't and now we're on the back of Novelak he started to drop back from Fittipaldi a little bit but we're gonna send it laid down the inside of Novelak we try to get both of them we only got one but now into the Vale chicane Fittipaldi nearly left the door open we thought about it to the inside couldn't get the exit now coming around the final corner of club could we pull a move into Abbey we're getting closer, we're getting closer. We're just a little bit too far back to get the job done at Abbey. We're now through farm. Can we go to the lunge into village? He covers us off. We just need to set this up for the Wellington Strait and down into Brooklyn. We are all over the back though of Fittipaldi. We're eyeing up uh, potentially our first win of the career mode on home soil. We're getting closer and closer. We're going to swap in the dummy. Go to the outside. And now try and keep it pinned round the outside of Brooklyn. We've had a bit of oversteer. We've had to correct the slide. Fittipaldi fends us off. I don't really know why we decided to go with the dummy there. There was loads of room to the inside. But now to the hangar straight. We've gone to the outside of him once again. But this time we've got him before we even get to the corner. And we lead our home Grand Prix, the British Grand Prix F2 Sprint Race. As we go through fail then for the fifth time out of 11 
can we pull away now? As we skip on to lap 9, the answer was no. As Fittipaldi comes back at us now into Brooklyn, we're going to keep it pinned around the outside. We now have the inside line for Luffield. The outside line is better around Luffield, but we're going to put the squeeze on Fittipaldi and keep the lead of the F2 sprint race. Now that it, was he, he looked like he was coming under pressure from Novelak and he may well have. Now as we come towards the end of lap 9, Novelak is dropping back a bit. He's on the bike, Fittipaldi though, he's going to the outside. Fittipaldi's going to try and do us around the outside at Snow. We're a bit later on the brakes. He has to back out, but now we've held him off. Coming through the final section, the final corner of club, we are going to win the sprint race on home soil. Yes, 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 guys, yes! Come on, boys! So we win the sprint race here, coming back from P10 after the pole for tomorrow's feature race being reversed. We had some great pace on those hard tyres. We just carved our way through. We held off Fittipaldi in the end. Great battle with him. Novelak was always close on us but could never really get close enough to have a go to try and pass us. Zane Maloney, the final finisher of the day. Let's go to the feature race then where there is a threat of rain. It is the Formula 2 race. It is time to introduce you to Alex Brundle. I'm Alex Jakes, and we've got changeable weather out there today. That's making for some nervous team personnel down in the paddock, down in the pit lane. Well, uncertainty is what strategy is all about, but it absolves the teams from the responsibility of running both compounds of tyre. They might have to use that wet tyre, of course. And then the question is, where do those crossovers lie between the wet and dry conditions? Brown lines up on pole position. Teo Porcher starting alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Benavides, Deruvela, Arthur Leclerc, Besti, Vashore, Fittipaldi, Hauger, Clermont Novelac, Miney, Martins, Ayumu Owasa, Roman Stanek, Correa, Boschon, Cordiel, Oli Behrman, Dewan, Maloney, Hajar, and Jack Crawford completes the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So we're here on the grid then ahead of the feature race. And it is raining, but it's saying it's not raining enough for the wet tyres. Of course, they don't have any inters in F2. It's just dry or wet. So soft to hard is the strategy. So let's go then to the feature race. Very different to the sprint. And we are racing and we are crawling off the line. There is absolutely no grip as we are being swamped into turn one at Abbey. We're all over the place. Someone in the background there is all over the place as well. We've nearly dropped it. Coming out of Abbey from pole. We have no grip. We have no tyre temperature. We are dropping like a stone on the opening couple of corners. We make contact there with someone. We're on the outside now as we are trying to find any sort of grip on this opening lap. We're off the track again at the loop. It's now through entry. We're just trying to keep the car in the straight line. We're off the track going down the Wellington Strait. We bounce over the grass trying to find any sort of grip. This track is not for the dry tyres as we are off the track once again at Brooklyn's we are at we're dropping like an absolute stone it's like we've got an anchor pulling us back as we again correcting the slides as now we have dropped all the way to the back as there's contact there we everyone someone's gone off as well there the Red Bull Junior car has gone off we're off the track we hit the marker board going into cops and in one sector of racetrack we're off again we've gone from first to last the AI are doing wonders with those dry tyres look at the state of the track it is not for the dry you can see how far that up the road they are and 
it's just a joke really we've got no grip we are going to go to the box for the wet tires it's the only option you can even see the spray coming off the front tires there's no way they should be going round on the dry tires absolutely no chance as we come into the pit we are going to be going onto the wets and it's going to be a long way back hopefully we have the pace to catch them back up but i don't think they're too quick on the wet tires there is no on the dry so there's no way the conditions are for this but i know this was a bit of a glitch when the game first came out obviously there's been patches now to this i've edited this a long while after i've recorded it i recorded it pretty much the day the game game came out so we've just got to put up now with the stupidity of the ai as you can see them here poor chair acting like these dry tires are perfectly fine which is also hurting us a bit as well because the chair is hunting us down in the world championship so at the minute he's getting a 25 point swing on us and our rear left tyre is screaming out to us he is on fire is that tyre as we go through the first couple of corners and into village we're skating we did start to catch those in front of us we got the gap down to around 20 seconds but it did start to then draw back out and you can see both rear tyres now are screaming as we go down the Wellington straight lap 7 we're still going the tyre now the wear nearly at 80% because of the temperatures we're putting the strain on them it's those weird conditions now where it's not dry but it's not wet and an intermediate tyre is the way to go but of course that's not a thing in f2 so we're just gonna have to keep going with these wet tires and hopefully we don't have any sort of issue with them hopefully we can get them to the end of the race as we go off once more heading down okay, the old right pit the straight right the into pitch. the tires gone the tire has gone we've got a puncher we're spinning round at cops the worst corner for the tire to let go and now We've got a puncher. We're like Lightning McQueen trying to scramble back to the pits. We're going absolutely nowhere. We've got our foot down. We're going to try and keep it going. We're on the racing line. If we were to get that right now, we could maybe create an unbelievable crash. The virtual safety car has also been deployed here. The yellow flags are out. As now with admitted defeat we're just going to try and get this car over onto okay, the grass the there's a I mean, mark no stop stating the obvious we've clearly got a puncher the front right tire is in the air it's a left rear puncher is the left rear that was screaming out and that's our feature now. race done ended in dramatic fashion with a puncher at cops corner so another fantastic victory for ART today. It's a real skill, racing wheel to wheel and also grabbing the fastest lap in the interim. Finding that clean air, they've done a great job of that actually. ART, the French team who have been racing since the 90s in various forms of most sport, are once again back on the winner's podium today after a brilliant display of driving skill. So that's been the FT feature race for the British Grand Prix weekend. Pacher 
gained 25 points and it is a 25 point swing in the championship but nothing we could do about that we can't help that the ai are bulletproof in wet conditions just going around like the track was bone dry when we were struggling to keep the car in a straight line we boxed for the wets and then it was looking good for a stage but that rear left tire was screaming out and in the end he couldn't hold on he let go and that was that a four hour race and it was Hajar who was the last of the finishers then. In terms of the Drivers World Championship now the gap is 37 points to Teo Pacher. He is starting to come back at us now but hopefully we can do enough to hold on. I think Toto Wolf would be happy if we can win this F2 championship. We're about halfway through now. Down at the back, there's still a couple of drivers still yet to score this season. It's Ralph Bosch on who is bottom of the pile then. In terms of the constructors then, we are top of the constructors world championship we are carrying our teammate this season the gap 29 points back to art down at the bottom is high tech so that's been the grand prix weekend for the british grand prix for formula 2 let's just focus on winning at home the feature race we need to forget i think toto wolf will be happy with most of our performance this weekend putting it on pole winning the sprint race after coming back through and we'll see if he lets go what happened in the feature race we'll go talk to him and we'll see what happens because next time we're racing in spa see you then goodbye